hello guys how are you we're gonna run a couple of errands today and if hearing if hearing that i'm going to target today bothers you then please check out my next video but that's what's on the agenda for today i need to get axel his glucosamine i need to get his um a uh, food topper, I need to get Red Bull, so <clears throat> I have to go to his uh, pet supply store and then also go to Target, and I figured I would bring you guys with me. I have not been feeling very well. Um, my booster shot really took a toll on me. Um, feeling a little bit better now, but I'm definitely not at 100%, and so I've just been taking it easy, staying hydrated, and, um, you know, luckily I'm able to work from home. I feel very fortunate to be able to do that, um, but I'm definitely not at 100% yet. Um, I'm hoping by tomorrow I will be, so I figured it would be a good day to get these couple of errands done because I really need to. Um, Axel went without his little food topper that I get him for uh, breakfast this morning and I know that's not that big of a deal but it's something that he likes and it's something that um, you know I, I'm gonna buy for him so anyway that's what's going on there and god I really wish I felt better my the second dose of my vaccine was pretty hard on me um but going into my second dose of the vaccine I had pre-filmed some stuff so I had content to post I should have probably done that this time too but I didn't um So anyway, I'm feeling, you know, if I had to put, I know some of you guys were curious, so I'll just talk about it for a second. If I had to put how I'm feeling into a few kind of main complaints that I have, it would be that I'm very tired. I'm feeling like I need to nap a lot more than I usually do. Don't get me wrong. I love a nap, um, but usually I don't feel like I have to nap or I'm not going to make it through the rest of the day. Um, I had a very, very bad headache yesterday and it seemed like even Motrin was not really helping my headaches. Um, so I was just taking, I took Motrin three times yesterday. Um, I haven't had a fever or anything like that, but then my third issue has been body aches so my back has been really sore like my back muscles my leg muscles especially like my hamstrings have been very um very sore so and obviously my arm where I got the shot I've gotten in the habit since I knew that um since I knew that soreness was one of the main complaints going into the vaccine I decided to get it on my right arm and I am right handed, but I walk Axel with my left hand. So I didn't want to have a sore arm on the arm that I walk him with because that's, um, it just seems like it makes sense to me. So um, either way, those are kind of like my main things. The tiredness is really bothering me. If my headache was like a 7 out of 10 yesterday, I would t say today it's more like a 4 out of 10 in between a 3 and a 4. Yeah, definitely not a good time, but I feel really, um, I feel really grateful that I would, you know, I'm in a position where I can get the booster and I, I feel better by having the booster. So I'm sorry if I'm a little spacey in this video. It's just that I'm trying to focus and the tiredness kind of overcomes me sometimes. So 
let's get Axel some stuff and I will see you in just a sec. I will show you what I got at the end. That seems to be a easier format than trying to, you know, fit a bag over here and do all that. So let's go over to Target. I don't need to get that much at Target. My God, I mean, I know having a dog is expensive, but sometimes when I <clears throat> get Axel's you know, the stuff at the store. It's just like, it's, it's just a reminder of how expensive having a dog is. Um, but I'm not complaining at all, but he's been being such a good boy since I've not been feeling very well. He's always really good, but I just feel like he's more patient and, you know, he, he gets it. Dogs definitely know when we're not feeling like ourselves. Since I haven't been wearing makeup the last couple of days, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot more um, skincare, like not overdoing it or anything like that, but just focusing more on, you know, like yesterday I took the time to do a mask and feel like sometimes during um, during the week when I'm wearing makeup and then by the end of the day when you take it off I don't I don't always take that extra you know 20 or 30 minutes to do a mask or you know even like under eye mask or any of that kind of stuff so it's been nice to um, be able to incorporate a little bit of that since I haven't been wearing makeup in between my shot and you know you guys know about some of the stuff I've been talking about on my channel it's just I don't know it's a lot I sometimes it just kind of feels like YouTube makes you second guess everything you know, just makes you second guess who you are. And it's like, I know who I am. Have I been perfect on this platform? Absolutely not. Um, have I been shady and, you know, m at times made it clear, maybe I don't like this person because they don't like me, like that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, th those are all really small things when you think about the issue at hand with the whole thing, but I'm not going to get into it today. I just don't have the mental capacity to think about that right now. Can someone explain to me, I was thinking about this the other day, can someone explain to me why Chick-fil-A is always so damn busy? no shade if you like Chick-fil-A that's fine but I don't understand you know I've had Chick-fil-A a handful of times it's definitely not a place that I frequent at all but I don't understand why they're constantly so busy am I like missing something am I out of the loop am I just do I have different tastes than other people because for me their chicken nuggets and their like chicken sandwich and stuff is not like something that I would wait in a line of 20 cars to obtain but maybe that's just me I'm hoping that because I'm going during the day to Target that they won't be really busy I always try to avoid going at like peak time because I'm not in the mood to um, be around a bunch of people. I just don't like the idea of massive crowds. I feel like since the whole panini started though, 
I've made a habit of going during like off peak hours. So I can't really think of, there was one time since it started that I went to TJ Maxx and the line was really long. Even still, like the store wasn't really long, but the line was really long and I turned around and left. But aside from that, I can't think of a store that I've been to where it was uncomfortably crowded or made me feel like <clears throat> there's too many people here and I need to come back. Like I said, aside from that one time, I actually was vlogging that day and I went to, um, I went to a TJ Maxx and I walked in and saw <clears throat> the line and walked right back out. But I think by me going during these like odd hours, maybe that's what has made it so that I'm not in a position where it's like, ooh, there's way too many people here. I'm not okay with this kind of feeling. All right, you guys, so we're at Target. So I'm gonna go in, grab what I need, and then I'll either see you guys after or I'll see you whenever I get home and then I'll show you what I bought. So I'll see you in just a sec. All right, guys, alas, I'm back home. I ended up going to the grocery store too and I didn't get anything super interesting. So, you know, it was not really share worthy if that makes sense, but I did get these stuffed peppers to make for dinner. I love these so much, they're so good. I just make them with um, a little rice and they're really good, simple, because I don't really feel like cooking uh, anything. And so let's go through what I got at Target and then I'll show you what I got Axel and then it will be all done. First thing I got are these cups. They have clearance stickers on them. So I'll have to go through and take all of these off, but these are fantastic little cups. I bought some gray ones about a year ago and I know gray and black, gray and black, you know, whatever. But these are really great, just really cheap cups. Um, they were 35 cents each, so I'm gonna put them all in the dishwasher and then they'll be good to go. Can't complain about a 35 cent cup. Oh, one thing I did get at the grocery store that they're so good, I've actually had them before. These new Philadelphia cheesecake crumbles Oh my God, these are so delicious. If you see them at your grocery store, grab them. I like the strawberry. I've also tried the original, but I like the strawberry a little bit more. It comes with these like graham cracker, I can't even speak, graham cracker crumbles, um, but they're delicious. They're so, so good. So I got two of those. When I was at Target, I found this candle. I actually bought it. It's so pretty. Um, I'm just going to put it on our stove because I usually have a candle here on the stove, but this is the Peaceful Pine and Juniper. It was $10 and it smells really, really good. Um, kind of Christmassy, but not really. So I'll probably save it for next month. Um, once Christmas is over, I'm like done with the holiday candles, but that's just me. So I'll save that. But I thought the jar was so pretty because of this like gold color. So if you guys are at Target, you'll see those. And then I got um, a bunch of Red Bull because we need a Red Bull. And this is Axel's glucosamine that he takes every single day. And I got um, a couple more of these pens. These are really good pens. I've talked about them before. Um, these are the Pentel Energel RTX Liquid Gel Pen 0.7 medium needle tip black ink. It also comes in blue and purple. Um, I use the black ones most often, but those are awesome. I also got another O'Keeffe's Working Hands. This comes in a tub as well. I don't like the tub as much as I like the one in the tube. It just has a different, the one in the tub kind of has a weird consistency. If you've tried both, you'll know what I mean, but if I was gonna recommend one, get the one in the tube your candies. We call them the glucosamine candy because Axel loves them. I said for uh, dog medication, whatever it is that they put in that glucosamine tablet, they need to make all dog medications that same formulation because he eats them, he drools over them, he gets very excited and happy. Um, it would be amazing if they could make all medication that easy to give your dog. 
All right, so let's go through what I got Axel. First thing is his salmon oil. This is the Omega 369 food supplement for dogs and cats. So if you guys have cats and you didn't know about this, it's fantastic. It's really good for um, his skin and his coat. I know a lot of you guys have said, you know, why is his fur so shiny? Why is his coat so shiny? And I really attribute most of it to this and obviously a good diet too, but the oil does wonders. And then this is his food topper that we get, the Stella and Chewy's meal mixers. He gets the beef because his other food, his normal, like normal dog food is lamb. So that's another way to mix up the protein source and what he's eating. So um, I do the beef of the topper and the lamb of the other. And then I got him these. First thing is the Kiwi Kitchen's beef liver. These are just freeze dried uh, beef liver. I'm sure you guys have got those for your dogs too. And then the last thing is the cod skin rolls. And these are just like crunchy little, crunchy little snacks. He likes fish, so. And then that is all that I got. So I'm gonna put all of my groceries away and make some dinner and continue to get a lot of rest. I know that when I do these little segments at the end, the sound is terrible because I'm not wearing my mic, but hopefully it's not too annoying. But either way, I hope that you guys are well. Um, you know, sorry to like weigh it down with the side effects of the booster, but I want to be transparent because I know that a lot of you guys had uh, questions about it and um, some of you were even concerned. So I just want to be transparent about how I'm feeling and, um, you know, hopefully tomorrow's better. I'm better today than I was yesterday and hopefully tomorrow's even better. So either way, I'm doing what I can, but for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.